So this morning I'm so happy and so excited because there's something funny that we'll be talking about. So I was having, uh, you know, some research done yesterday and I came across one of the reasons why um, relationships uh, fell from the very beginning. You know, most people do not even think about why the relationship ever, ever failed. And so I came up with this and uh, when I spoke with Dr. Precious, we came up with something that sounds like five things you must never share with your partner <laughs> yeah five things you must never share with your partner mm. in a relationship setting okay so five things you must never share with your significant other yeah you know um it's quite important that you take note of these things yes uh, there is that idea of full disclosure um share all your past okay share all your secrets and all that but mm, research has shown that may not be the right way to go. So, mm -hmm. don't be precious. Give me number one. Okay, number mm, one. I'm prepped. <laughs> I'm prepped. I'm prepped. I'm prepped. I must tell you. You must never share your sex partners with your partner, with okay, your so significant partner. Your, 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 your um, exes. But okay, so let's Your put sexual it. escapades. Okay, so let's let's put it this way. I'm trying okay. to put it in the mildest language ever. The number of sex partners you have had. You must never share that. So you must it never means share that you that. must never share your sexual history with your partner. Yeah. Why? Because Why when dating it? when dating someone new, it's it's expedient. Most of them will ask, What's your body count? Some really? of them want to know yes, how many people that idea. how many people have you been with? Mm. Some of them want to understand um, how has been your relationship history or what has been your relationship history mm -hmm. but you see there was i was so saying you can do your relationship history but you cannot you cannot but just isn't fully that disclose. tantamount to your um, sexual history as well for the safety of your relationship you gotta be wise there are some secrets that should be left as secrets mm. if you want the sanity of that relationship because the truth is this let me let me let me give you an example Hmm. If I'm dating you right now and I ask you what's your body count and you say um, you've had a thing with 17 guys, I would begin to look at you in that way. It hmm. will affect the way I see you. Hmm. Men always want to see their... And you know, some ladies have this thing. When they meet a new guy, they say, oh, I've just had one. The ones who God has passed through their hearts will say, oh, I've just had four. But let's oh, be honest. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Now, you're saying that um, they, they'll say they've just had one. And then one who's... Oh, oh God, God has passed through. through their hearts. Yeah, they say maybe like three. They say maybe like three. Yeah. Because they're trying to be truthful. Yeah, but that's not the real truth. So now, what no happens lady will with ever the guys? What happens with the guys? You see... Why, why, why don't girls ask those questions? Let's why see. are guys usually the ones that ask such ridiculous questions the truth of the matter is you know um the male tends to occupy this, the office of being the being the head so they introduce the questions so you they can are never the ask a guy misogynistic the, the, the one to well hear. it's vice versa girls also ask the same questions like how many girlfriends have you had they want to ask the guy well, i really believe you should be asking such questions and let me tell you should. something i pray you don't meet a lamba you know what a lamba is no i don't a lamba is a very good liar he will mm. tell you you were my first love by the way i never loved my ex we had nothing going in common but since i met you my life never remained the same again really i'm telling you okay so point number one taken point yes. number two point number two this will shock you if your ex-partner is better than your new partner never say it so don't share it okay so in this in this case you're not meant to say that possibly the guy is uh, um more generous yeah or, uh, let me put it in a very simple way that the, the act of comparison some ladies are very good with that my mm. ex will not do this mm. my ex will not never do say that. never say those things so comparison must not happen it must never come up you must never mention it yes it's a no-no yeah and, and this goes for just the ladies or the guys as well okay it could it could it could go for both parties <laughs> because i still see all of this pointing more to um you know because you're, you're like putting you see, don't be don't become a feminist no, 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 
no, but it's, it's just the truth. No, we're don't talking, be, we're talking don't about be partners here. We're not Let's talking about the females here. versus the guys. We're no, it's, it's partners generally. Yes, your significant but order. It, but hold on here. Are we saying that women don't have standards when it comes to going into a relationship? Women but do. The, but the men do have standards, and so that's why they ask all those questions? No, the question can... Okay, let me shock you. I met a girl um, in the university, and... I liked her and she asked me a question I couldn't recover from. Why do you want to date me? Why? Mm -hmm. That was the first time I have ever heard that question. Mm. I looked Spotify for a little minute and then I tried to confuse the asker of the question. <laughs> have you ever been asked a question in class? Take for instance the, teach, the, the lecturer comes up and says, what is oxynomy? Mm -hmm. And you've never heard that word before. And then mm -hmm. the teacher says, Precious, can you tell us what oxynomy means? Mm -hmm. And you're confused. And you're confused. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do is you want to conjoin some words together mm -hmm. to make you look sane and not end up stupid amongst your colleagues. So mm -hmm. you stand up and say something like oxynomy um, can be defined as, you know, all those natural words, the act of, you know, when you bring two things together in an equivocal dimension that is not parallel to the parallelogram of the basically you're confusing so everybody the people. starts laughing so and then the lecturer confusing. is like okay sit down thank you very much let's go to so that else. was the kind of answer you that gave was the her. kind of answer i gave her but mm. the truth of the matter is this the she ladies should be able to ask those kind of questions those kind of questions hmm. let's go on number three number three will shock you why you broke up with your ex never discuss that really yes because let me tell you the reason if you know now you will always know who was the guilty one in the relationship maybe mm. you cheated mm. and then you want to tell the new guy you're with or the new girl you're with that you cheated on your ex that's why she broke up with you mm. come on you need to have a rethink mm. so I if you know you were guilty keep that information to yourself, to yourself. oh so you you said things like it just didn't work it just didn't work. Mm. We tried our best. We're just not compatible. It, it just was not working. You mm -hmm. know, we really pushed for it. For we did. Time. We tried. But it just didn't work. Mm. Another thing you must never d divulge to your significant other is who you were with last night. Let me give you an example. Maybe you went to have dinner with, mm -hmm. with another guy. Mm -hmm. And this was work-related. And you know your partner is a jealous type. Mm -hmm. and you got home a little bit late mm -hmm. because of traffic after mm -hmm. the dinner mm -hmm. you can't go home and say i went to have dinner with so so guy and even if nothing happened even if nothing happened you must never you say just that. have to be careful so you what see, do you say you lie the, no let me tell you let me drop something here maturity is the ability not to lie and not to tell the whole truth <laughs> okay I get Did you get that? Okay, so maturity is being able to... Uh, is the ability some, not to lie and not to tell the whole truth. There is what okay. we call the law of moderation. Okay. The law of moderation states that you don't give everything and you don't take everything. It okay. must be in a moderated dimension. So you're talking about it, but you're not... Um, giving everything. Giving everything out. Let's um, leave some so, things. Um, when, when, when you hear things like, oh, but, but I thought I must say... That's, that's why most ladies do it. I thought I must divulge. I thought I must share. Okay, can I give you a, a, a practical example of something that happened? Mm -hmm. A guy was coming back from the office and he met a lady mm -hmm. that um, had an issue with her car by the okay. roadside. Okay. So he decided to help her because the tire was out. Okay. So he helped her to change the tire. Mm -hmm. And the lady went next to him and gave him a peck. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this guy gets home and guess what the wife saw the pack the, the, the lipstick, the lipstick. Mm -hmm. and all hell broke loose and this guy was trying to explain to her i, I helped stopped. somebody i only stopped and the person to help the person fix the time. me and the wife never listened now let me let me give you a reason why this happened prior to that time everything that happens he calls to tell the wife okay this is what i'm doing now but okay. suspicions began to set in so he became, let me say, a little bit matured with information, and then that happened. Do you know it almost broke the relationship? Wow. It almost broke his relationship because the woman could not imagine 
that her husband is not cheating yet it had lipstick. lipstick on his on cheek. cheek some men are innocent like that some of us are very innocent very transparent i like the fact that you put some of us in yes, that some of equation us. Some putting of us yourself inside innocent. that equation all right this conversation is an interesting one you want to share something with me this morning uh what you can never divulge to your significant other you can send a whatsapp message or an sms to the number right there on the screen all right dr precious let's have the number five okay the last one if you are happy with the relationship it's not that. always wise to share if you're not happy with the relationship if you're happy keep sharing if you're not happy with the relationship um mm. plan a tactical way it's mm. just a relationship it's not a marriage mm. if you're not happy with the relationship you can talk about the things that are not making you happy but by the time you get to the point of saying i am not happy in this relationship mm. you should have a plan b you should be getting set but when you start making a guy feel you're not happy with the relationship, he thinks you're done. You see, women, women don't speak the way men speak. Let me give you an example. If a woman says, if a man says, I don't have clothes to wear anymore, it means mm -hmm. his clothes is dirty. Okay. But if a woman says, I don't have clothes to wear anymore, it means she wants new clothes. If a man says, my hair is messed up, it means it he means wants, to get, he to, wants to, ha to get a hair cut. Okay. If a woman says my hair is messed up, it means she wants a plot of land on her head. Human hair. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a very bad joke. How do you mean a plot of land? Do you know do you know what it costs to have okay? Let's let's not flog on that. No, okay? no, 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 you can go there. You really can go there. And I dare you to go there this morning. I really want to dare you to go there. Tell me say, let me tell you something. Um, you made a plot of land on my head. There are human hair that are as expensive as 600,000. Okay, my sister was lamenting to me recently from the UK and she was like, can you imagine? I, a friend of mine stole my, my human hair. I was like, can you cut the crap? What's, how much is it? Mm -hmm. And she said 620,000. I said, 620 Naira? She mm -hmm. said 620,000. And I replied, are you high? Mm -hmm. Hair, 620,000? Do you know how many plots of land that will buy in Benin City? Come on. <laughs> now I get where this idea is coming from. Hmm. So um, she wants a plot of land on her air, on her head. That's mm. what you mean by that. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, I'm not. I'm not putting so you on point this number point. Five. I love your hair. Okay? Don't worry. Uh, point number five is gotten. Point, point number five is what again? Point number five is um, if you're not happy in the relationship, mm -hmm. uh, do not share. Do not share. Yeah, do not share the fact that you're not happy. Just talk about the reasons why you're not happy. Why you're not happy. Mm -hmm. By the time you're telling him, I'm not happy in this relationship, that's a closing remark. Okay. It means you're about to take a bounce. Mm -hmm. It means you're about to look somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to share the goodness, then you can bring that in. Mm. Okay, so um, we've been talking about five things you must never share with uh, your significant other if uh, you want to have a sane relationship. But Tommy, see, do you think, sorry to cut you, yes. do you think it's, also, it's good to share your password with your significant other? Mm, that one is a question I'd like that's to a ask. Question, that's a question we need to bring in right now. 